from the way things are now, this is a statement of a, a 419. You know, when Tinubu will come and tell you, I know what you're going through, let the poor breathe, all those uh, nonsense uh, slogan. Um, <laughs> you know that uh, he's not ready to do anything. Because uh, the more he talks about uh, being aware of the suffering Nigerians are going through, he will still come out and tell you that uh, that uh, the economy is not in distress. So who does that? And now, what he's trying to let Nigerians know is that uh, he's uh, repairing the damage that uh, Buhari caused. The same man who was telling us that uh, Buhari was the best, that he will continue from where Buhari stopped. So the failure of Buhari. So as if Buhari was blaming uh, PDP then, that it was PDP or PDP. So twice eight years, he couldn't do anything. He couldn't solve the problem, the problems that a uh, PDP created. He created his own. So this one is telling you that, uh, oh, they have spoiled the economy. That is exactly what he wants to do. Meanwhile, he does not have anything in, in place. He just wanted to be the president, and that is it. Because uh, people from the from Lagos who are always saying, who are always talking rubbish and talking nonsense that uh, he built Lagos. Tell me, what is the what is the uh, standard of living of the people and how developed is the, is the area? They will, be, they will be deceiving themselves that, oh, politicians say they did, they, ah, they tried, though, they tried, all those nonsense. And meanwhile, those are not, that is not how things are. Thank God for social media. Thank God for internet. Thank God for technology. You don't need to go to China. You don't need to go to uh, Europe. You don't need to go to the U.S. to go and know what is happening. Right there, right there, you will see what is happening. You know what, how people are doing things. Get information. You see that these guys are just there to, to deceive the people with mere, mere nonsense things they are doing. At this age of time, I was supposed to be living uh, 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 on palaces. His excuse, Tinubu excuse is that he is repairing what Buhari damaged. Tinubu succeeded Buhari, his party man, on May 29, 2023. Both are leaders of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Human rights activist Daily Farutimi has stated that President Bola Tinubu was one of those that brought ex President Muhammadu Buhari into power in 2015 and he cannot separate himself from the failures of the immediate past government the activist appeared on china's television friday where he made the statement tinubu succeeded buhari his party man many current tinubu cabinet members including minister of finance wali edo have attributed the country's present socioeconomic and security difficulties in buhari's eight-year double rule However, Farutimi said Tinubu actively marketed Buhari to Nigeria in the build up to the 2015 general elections and cannot insulate himself from the failures of the Buhari government. The activists claim that nothing has changed since May 2015 when the APC took over from ex President Gulag Jonathan of the People's Democratic Party PDP. The evidence of the last minute, last nine months, is on. Un- uh, or impeachable and cannot be denied. I know that the convenient excuse is that Buhari had damaged Nigeria and Tinubu is repairing it. But who brought Buhari? Who was the chief marketer of Buhari in 2014 and 2015 when the change lie was sold to Nigerians? He said. Alfaro Semi remarks that the Tinubu administration has done little to warrant optimism. Instead, he said Nigerians should ready themselves for additional problems beyond the economic pain caused by the withdrawal of petrol subsidies and the unification of foreign exchange windows. Faro Simi added that the future of Nigeria appeared bleak. He said, I am going to be 56 years old this year and in my entire lifetime, we have never been far away from greatness than we are today. The future of Nigeria appears bleak than it has ever been in my entire lifetime. He blamed the rot in Nigeria to each and every one of us, but most importantly, the complete breakdown of the rule of law. According to him, Nigeria has copious laws in writing, but here or there is no rule of law in our space as the laws are observed more in breach. Nigeria is at it today. It is not ruled by law, but by impunity. He said, when you look beyond that, you begin to look at the institutions of state. Farosimi said, for the nation to move forward, the principles of justice must be enthroned, starting with the judiciary, 
the legislature and the executive. He also said Nigerians should understand the folks from other tribes that are not their enemies, but those who are beneficiaries of the rot in the system of government, who have refused to reform the system and have weaponized poverty, ethnicity, and uh, religion. <laughs> Uh, there's something I really want to uh, talk about that a uh, daily follow to me say that uh, Tinubu brought a campaign for Buari and brought Tinu and brought Buari. Yes, it's it's not a bad thing when you campaign for somebody, you you talk about the person, you expect that the person is doing the right, it's gonna do the right thing. There's no no uh, problem as far as I'm concerned. But where I have problem is when you have already now noticed that uh, oh what you thought is or was not what uh, you are now seeing, it is now you know your responsibility as a somebody so as somebody who has integrity to be able to say no this is what i thought now this person is going the other way you need to come out and call out the person even if uh, you're not going to come out and be you know antagonizing the person but there's a way you are going to try to put some things that some things are not fine but we we are going to know how we're going to do it and you go back and do your own work but that was not it this man will come boldly even when things were bad he will come out Tinubu will come out and begin to defend and it was defending Buhari. So that is where the problem is. So he didn't see anything wrong. Campaigning for him is not it's one, it's one part. The other part is that even with all the shenanigans, he was saying everything be alright. So now even Tinubu is not saying that uh, Buhari destroyed the economy. He's sending his uh, boys to go and say that. And nobody is going to be buying all those nonsense. Because we had somebody who cried out that they were printing money. That things were not good. They didn't, all of them, even the Wale Edu that is talking now, he cannot tell me that he did not know that time. But what did they do? They all kept quiet. And even Obaseki that was even saying that uh, uh, the economy was not good, they were printing money. Just because he was not in their party and he's still not in their party, that was why he talked. Because if he was in their party, he wouldn't have said anything. He wouldn't have said anything. Well, you still give him kudos because we still have people who are still not uh, in their party. Because they are collecting their location from the then uh, CBN government who are prone to be the Mefede. They didn't say much. At least, let's see, give him that uh, kudos for even saying, because we see how people in PDP who did not say, oh, this man was printing money or what they were doing was not the right thing. Because I remember, the reason why I say, okay, uh, maybe he's talking because uh, he's no longer in the party. Because I remember when the same Obaseki uh, was in uh, APC. The issue of a ganduje, gandola, gand whatever. At the end of the day, he didn't say anything. He didn't make him. But as soon as he left APC, he began to talk about it. That's actually these guys are just hypocrites. But you see, you have to give him kudos in one hand because his own colleague who are in PDP never said anything wrong with uh, the administration of a uh, Buhari. So that is a uh, that is this. As it stands, Daily Farouk is letting us to know that a uh, Buhari thing. They go change and see they see the tell you, I know what you are going to. Now, now they are beginning to come out because they now know that all their policies, all what they are doing to make sure that things are corrected are not working. So the next thing is just to say, ah, eh, it is not our fault now. See what has happened. No, the blame is this. But you, you know now, that is why you are there. If you have that experience, no matter how bad something is, you come and fix it. Come and fix it. Don't give us excuse upon excuse. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.